fine with Why, me. did somebody say something? <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, 2011, and my first unboxing for the year. There'll be many more this year according to the guys from Park Zone and Horizon, so it'll be interesting to see what they give us this year. But today this box arrived. My Park Zone Mosquito, the Ultra Micro. I just thought I'd show you how the box is, how it comes. It comes well wrapped, not a mark on it. I'd like to thank the guys at Model Flight for getting this out as quick to me. They, they only came in stock yesterday and I got mine today, so I'm very happy with that. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'll get this box open and we'll have a look at what's inside. We'll have a look at the controversial box that everyone's worried about, but there's quite a few mods been put up already on the uh, mod thread on RC Groups, so just head to RC Groups and you'll find all the info you want to about this mozzie. Okay, there it is out of the uh, wrapping, and it's quite a big box. Looks really good. Usual stuff on the box. Okay, let's get it open and see what's inside. Okay, here's what's in the box. We've got the charger. You get one battery. Look here. We were lucky, we got spares with ours. I ordered a battery, a spare battery with mine, so I got two batteries to go, two stock batteries to get me going. Okay, well, look, there's, there's the mozzie. Doesn't it look nice? Let's get these tapes off. I've already just loosened them a bit so I can get them off easy. Oh. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It looks a lot better in the flesh than it did in the uh, photos, that's for sure. I'll just get rid of that box. Oh, look at that, lifting the box up. What's always on the bottom of the box? That's right, the manual. Okay, let's have a look at this thing. Wow. That's really nice. I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> the wheel problem that's been talked about. Whoever was on wheel duty this day doesn't know what the centre is. Surprisingly, this one's not too bad. This one's terrible. <laughs> but that's the only thing that I can see there. Everything else looks really straight and nice. Very nice indeed. You can see there's a tail wheel. There's the underneath. What do you reckon? I think this is going to fly really nice from the videos that I've seen so far. A neat little thing I noticed here, these little plastic bits here, they're hollow in there and they go in and take air in. So you've got one on each side of the motor there. They actually work, take the air inside and cool everything that's inside. Sorry, I forgot to show you when I was doing the box, I missed this little part. It's uh, your clips for your charger out in the field, but not really much use these things, I don't think. You've got to go to the battery for something like that. I'll be using my uh, other charger anyway to charge these batteries. Canopy up the front here, the front nose cone comes off. There's your space you've got in there two magnets on the front. This piece is plastic with a couple of magnets in it. Just clips straight on. Looks really good. 
I think this is going to be a popular plane from the videos we've seen on RC groups that are up on the YouTube the twin props sound really good and the, this plane flies fairly good as well it has a tendency from a lot of reports to balloon up when you first start so I'd be checking the trim on this on your elevator and making sure that you got a bit of down in there because uh, people are reporting it ballooning up now another guy's already put a key cam on top and it flew fine with that key cam on it so it's going to be good for doing a bit of a photography work as well i'm sure this this plane's going to get a a lot of use it looks really nice that's for sure okay i've set up a slot for my mosquito we'll go in here I've set my low rates to 70% and I've given myself 25% expo. This is what I'd recommend for new starters. On high rates, 20% and 100% DR. But, I'll just find the button here. And on the rudder, I have a, about 80% on low rates and 15% expo and when I click her over I just keep my 15% expo but 100 on high rates and I put that onto the uh, rudder button makes it easy just to t turn it over when you want to use it okay we'll turn that off and get ready to bind time to bind we all know how to bind Spectrum stuff, but just for those who don't, we'll go through it one more time. Okay. You take your battery and you connect it to here. You leave your transmitter off. Okay, I'll just zoom us in a little bit now. First up. See the dot on the bottom? There's a dot on the bottom there. Make sure you get them round the right way. And just connect your battery up. Put her in there. You'll see what happens. Oh, just let that focus. Is a light flashes inside. Take your transmitter. Whatever your bind button is, hold it on. Turn your transmitter on. Let the bind button go. Wait a few ticks. And you'll see, we now have a solid light. I'll just whip the cover back on. There you go. Power on, elevator, rudder. Oh yes, they work. Let's have a look at them, shall we? There you go, she's all done up. Looking good. I'll just run these motors in a little bit. Start them off slow. Okay, I'll just turn that music down a little bit. Let's listen to this thing spin, shall we? Full throttle. Oh, isn't that a nice hum? I can feel this thing, it wants to leap out of my hand. Twin prop, uh, three blades, 
<laughs> what a sound. Very nice. I don't know for sure, but one of the things I was wondering about that up that we seem to be getting when we take off. Look at the tail fin, it's sort of turned up. I wonder if being in the box has made it anything different. If it's meant to be that little curved bow. See that little curved up bit? Everybody else has complained about it ballooning up, so I'm gonna put some down in before I even fly. Okay, we have it bound. Now a few of the folks on RC groups have talked about using their 1S batteries that they've got and putting two of them together, so I thought I'd give it a go. And here we go. What do we got in here? Ho, ho, ho. Looks like a pair of Hyperons. I made up a little jigamajig so I can uh, connect it up, a parallel connector. So I can put two of them together. So it'll be interesting to see how these two 160 Hyperons go in this little baby as well. We'll do that when we go out for our flight test. There you go, the two Hyperons and my connector come in at 10.8 grams. There's a stock battery. Stock battery comes in at 8.3. So only two and a half grams heavier. That's not a lot of weight. When you consider that it carries the key cam on it as well, two and a half grams is nothing heavier. And I think having the two 160s, which will give you 320, you're gonna get good flight time. With the 30C of the Hyperons, I think it's gonna be very interesting to see how these go. Now, I don't know if a few of you have watched the uh, videos that are around on YouTube, but there was one from EFES where Matt Andron from uh, Horizon Hobby was flying his mozzie and he'd put some invasion stripes on it. Well, that's the next job for me. I've made some strips already. All is what I'm using is really thin stuff it is. It's as light as can be. It's just book cover. Just went to the news agents, got some black and white book cover. It's what I used on my P47 as well. Now I looked at Matt's plane, looked up from where he had it to where he um, stopped it, from where it started to where it stopped measured it on my plane and it worked out about 80, 80 millimetres. So each one is about 16 millimetres wide. You get that? And uh, that's going to be a job I'm going to do next. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what mine looks like with the invasion stripes on it. It can take its pride of place with the rest of the fleet. Well there you go, the Mozzie, the new Park Zone Ultra Micro Mozzie. Really nice plane, and uh, if your local hobby store hasn't got one, then get onto the net, go to the Model Flight website, order one there, and no matter where you live in Australia, they'll get one to you, no worries. Well, there we have it. I think this is going to be a beauty. Hopefully when that wind dies a bit later today, I'll get out and get a maiden. I think this one's going to be a keeper. I haven't flown it yet, but I, I don't think I'm not going to like it. Can't wait to get out and give it a fly. Thanks for viewing.